And then in response to MJ's question earlier, it sounded like the administration has ruled out strikes within Iran. Jackie, I appreciate the question. Uh, I think you can understand. I hope you can understand. Uh, I'm not going to telegraph punches here. We are not looking for a war with Iran. We are not looking to escalate the tensions any more than they already have been escalating. In fact, everything we've done has been designed to try to de-escalate those tensions. That said, this was a very serious attack. It had lethal consequences. We will respond, and we'll respond appropriately. I'm not going to telegraph what that's going to look like. The question, though, was if you were actively considering targets inside Iran, and your answer was, we don't see conflict with Iran, which indicates that the administration would view strikes within Iran as escalatory. And so is it that the administration ultimately does not hold Iran responsible for these attacks, or that the current level of risk and loss to U.S. troops is somehow acceptable? I do appreciate the, the question and the chance to, to, to say it again. I am not going to telegraph punches for the President of the United States. I'm not going to get ahead of his decision space and how he's going to respond. We'll respond appropriately. And you're, you know, you're right. This attack had lethal consequences, um, which these attacks in the past have not had. And as I said in my opening statement, as we work through what those options are, uh, we'll be mindful and informed by the fact uh, that there are now three American soldiers that have been killed. So it's clear, obviously, that don't didn't work. Does the president have any regret over not pushing, punching back harder in any of the prior responses that he's taken to these proxy attacks on U.S. forces? I would, uh, uh, I think I would push back on the idea that we didn't push back harder, uh, that we have taken significant action against uh, Iran economically. We have certainly taken some ad additional and uh, more aggressive steps to go after these groups. Um, we're certainly taking aggressive action uh, against the Houthis to try to de defend shipping in, in the Red Sea. I mean, this idea that somehow we've just, you know, whistled past the graveyard here and 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 walked away from the challenge that Iran poses just isn't borne out by the facts. Iran, uh, uh, these proxy groups have been attacking our, our troops and our facilities in Iraq and Syria well before this administration as well. And we, though, like for instance, Mike Waltz said this morning that when you're trying to play defense constantly rather than punching back in a meaningful way, this blood is on this administration's hands. What, what is the response from the White House to an accusation like that? What I would tell you and I would tell the congressman is we're mindful of what Iran's doing in the region. And uh, we have taken aggressive action against these proxy groups and, about, and, and on their influence in the region. And there are decisions yet to come. So let the president make his decisions. Let him weigh these options. And then we'll act. Uh, these groups have choices to make. Um, and uh, we're going to do everything we can to, to make sure that they make uh, the right choice here. But uh, the idea that we have somehow laid down um, and, uh, and not pushed back on Iran is simply not borne out by the facts. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.